Okay, so now we're down here at uh, one of the parts of Craig's Pond. So basically, uh, just to explain to you what happens here, a lot of people, they go over this bridge, they chunk things off the edge, they get, you know, floats downstream. So this acts like downstream goes to the river. What we're gonna be doing is hunting and searching underwater around the bridge area. So the bridge is right behind my cameraman Jacob here, but basically, so you all understand, like this is not necessarily like the greatest area, so to speak. So a lot of people, they throw some burner phones off the bridge. The last time we were here, I found some iPhones, found some burner phones as well. Um, a lot of fishing lures get hooked up, especially in these areas here, because there's so much just gunk, whether it's rocks, trees, etc. There are all kinds of stuff in the bottom of this. So I gotta be really careful for me just diving down underneath the water and doing this. But then second of all, just trying not to get myself caught up in anything as well. So a lot of this fishing line that's in here, I'm gonna try and clean that up today. And uh, you know, have a good day. It is a little bit murky out, uh, as far murky out. It's a little cloudy out and um, the water is murky. So I'm gonna apologize in advance for that. But guys and girls, it's gonna be a great day. Gonna have a lot of fun. The weather's not too hateful as far as temperature wise. I only have one layer wetsuit on right now today. I should have wore two because uh, the air temperature is a little bit cold, just a little chilly. But um, you know what? It's my fault for not wearing two, so let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so I've been under the water for about 15 minutes now and I saw three big snapping turtles. So around the Delaware area, we have a real big problem with snapping turtles and uh, I'm having that problem right now to be honest with you. So far I found two phones, a set of keys and uh, big flashlights, that's pretty cool. But um, this is actually sketchy because it's more calm water over here than on the other side of Craig's Pond where we originally went. So this is kind of like a, just an undisturbed area that we're, we're just diving around in. And uh, cameraman Jacob, he's gonna go underwater, get some cool underwater shots. And uh, he's a little worried about the uh, snapping turtles, but I'm not even gonna lie, I am too. Like it's kind of sketchy. I've been before. Huh? I've been there before. Yeah, those things, um, they're, they're, they're snapping turtles. If you don't know anything about them, Google it right now. They are extremely vicious, especially when you get close to them. So. Um, my biggest fear is one to like latch on to me and not let go and then I lose a finger or something because there has been people who have getting their fingers bitten off by them, stuff like that. So uh, another thing that we're going to have to be careful of is water moccasins. Um, that's a type of snake. It's a water snake and basically they live in areas such, such as this. So um, that's one thing that we do have to be careful of. I'm trying to just not disturb too much and if I do come up on a fish or something like that, I'm trying to act like I am a fish, a really big ass fish honestly. But um, 
Yeah, so we got the snapping turtles and then the water moccasins that we have to look out for, especially this summer. It's gonna be a lot worse, but right now it's mating season for them, so they're a little bit more vicious than they normally would be. So they got all summer long to raise their new small babies, and I hope that there are none out here that we run into today, but if we do, we do. We're just gonna be extra careful. A water moccasin, actually, if it bites you, you've probably realistically got 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes to actually get to a hospital, and the hospital is about 20 minutes away from here, so gotta be super careful about that, too. Oh! Oh, look! Oh, hold on. Okay, so Jacob and I, we're, uh, we think we see something over there on this uh, tree. So we're gonna try and swim across and see. It looks like a fishing pole, not really sure, but we're gonna go check it out now. Ernie? Keep the water disturbed that way. All kinds of life forms know that we're here. <laughs> the tree's like a ride. It's like a ride. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, dude. Hang on, hang on, not yet, not yet. It's stuck to the tree right here. No, it's stuck on my leg. Oh my god. So, this is why it's dangerous of why what we do. I just got caught up in this fishing line and I'm still caught up on it. Yo, hold this. Be careful because there might be a hook. Just like that, when we went over, that's when I got hooked onto this. So hold that tight. So we're going to get the hook off of it. We're going to bring it back over and then we're going to come over and look at this fishing pole. But we also got to keep our feet moving so these snapping turtles, they like getting on these trees. And I'm really hoping a snapping turtle doesn't come on the tree in between my legs here because I'm straddling the tree right now. <laughs> no good. <laughs> dude, I told you I thought something. Oh, dude. Do you think it was a turtle? Dude, for sure. That was for sure a turtle when I put my hand down. <laughs> I went to grab it and it went like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I touched my fin with it and I could feel the like, you know how you can feel the turtle shell? Yeah. Just deep. Robert. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we got a bobber there. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Oh. oh look, a beer can. Why did we bring it? Why did we bring it over? I don't know. Ah. We got a Budweiser can. And a big uh, hover. I'm scared to pick this up, but it feels like a lot. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was not good support. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> dude, it has the lure and everything. Oh. That's a nice fly fishing hook. Really? Yeah. So we actually found a uh, a whole fishing rod. We found a uh, Budweiser can, and then we found this. This has got to be the world's biggest bobber ever. And then I found this medicine bottle. I put a fly fishing hook in there because um, it was like a really small hook that we couldn't see. I didn't want one of us getting stabbed by it. And then this is what we got off of that one tree over there. Um, this is what I this is what I want to get out of the water like no matter where it is It's just not good for the environment a lot of fish get caught up in it wildlife and then turtles especially even though they're snapping turtles But um still don't want them getting caught up in that What is that? Dude, it's a net. Holy. Dude. Let's pull it. Hang on, hang on. What? Might be something that Denrick has. Did I just find? Hold that. Oh! Ah! What? What? Oh. What? Dude, you were just holding a fucking snake. I'm not kidding you. What? <laughs> he was holding a snake. Record. <laughs> Bro. I'm not bitter anything. Bro. Oh my god. The, the cat is on, babe. The cat is on. <sighs> oh man. Bro. Oh. That's good. <laughs> Like an orange, orange and black? No, orange and white. Orange and white? Mm -hmm. I know orange and like black is popping in. Never got mad. <laughs> I just picked up a snake. Listen, he picks up this thing. It's this net. I've got to go back in there and just see if the snake's there. Come on. Come grab it then. I, I'm staying on land so I don't trip and fall. Well, hang on, let me put the knife away. I got it. Dude, <clears throat> it's stuck in the frame. Look, you can see it. Yep, ready? Oh, oh my gosh, dude, you were holding that thing, bro. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god. Oh, f that. Oh. <laughs> okay, so just like that, folks, Sir Jacob here picked up a snake. <laughs> I literally was about to piss myself when I saw the bottom of it. I knew it was a snake. I think I called it on my GoPro. Um, but when he was holding the snake, he literally thought he was just holding the net. Okay, so right now we are basically gonna react to the video. So we've got the laptop here, and um, I just, I still cannot believe this happened. Like, I just. <laughs> Poor Jacob. Okay, so right here, as you can see, the snake is clearly in sight, okay? And I went to grab this fishing line, and look, 
All I was looking at was the hook. That away from right my there. Life. That now, away from my life. <laughs> Jacob is holding the snake, and I didn't even see the snake. All I saw was like the fluorescent, like little um, fly fishing um, hook. And I'm like, oh, cool. I go and grab the damn hook, not knowing Jacob's holding a, a big ass snake. I feel like the snake is brighter than what you're grabbing. I know. I don't know how I didn't see that. I really don't know how I did not see that. I don't know how you didn't either. Come on. Hold that. You couldn't even say what it was. I said you were holding a fucking snake. I was like, what? Look at Jacob's face here. Hang on. He was holding a snake. Bro. Look, Jake, Jacob said it but didn't like, bite me. He's like looking down, making sure. No, I was thinking, uh, I thought I was bit. Oh. Did you feel like you were bit? Yeah. <laughs> I dropped it on my foot. <laughs> Poor Jacob. I had so much disbelief. I, I couldn't even say anything. Ah. <laughs> right here. Bam. I fall, bust my knee. I know, I was like, what are y'all doing? Look at my face, look at my face, look at my face. <laughs> look at Jacob's face! Oh. <laughs> He's so confused. He's so confused. What? I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, folks, to kind of end this video here, if you haven't already, this is the antics that happen when we all go out and go river treasure hunting or we go exploring sometimes. Like literally it's always something and I said in the beginning of this video, I'm like, there's snapping turtles, which we saw snapping turtles. There are snakes in this water and we saw snakes. Oh. So this is the last time that we will ever go back to Craig's Pond, guarantee to you that. So without any further ado guys and girls, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I love y'all so much. Let's get to 200,000 subscribers and we will see y'all on the next river treasure, haunted adventure or abandoned adventure next time.